New York Hot Tracks with the Hot Tracks Hot Pick of the Week from Madonna. It's called Borderline. Over here to my left, I have the tremendous pleasure of introducing to you guys a guy who has the number one song in the country. Bad song. Dynamite song. Somebody's watching me. Welcome to Hot Tracks, Rockwell. Thank you. Thank you. Well, not the first time in New York for you, right? No, I've been here before. All right, uh, somebody's watching me. Uh, your great song uh, talks about paranoia. You want to talk a little bit about that? Well, uh, don't you feel you're being watched sometimes? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, well, that, that's kind of the, uh, the, where it came from. Just, you know, mm -hmm. everybody feels that way. I felt like that before, and I still do at times. So I thought it was something good to write about. Rockwell is a brand new artist. It's a brand new name for a lot of people. And a lot of people personally have asked me, well, how did he get Michael Jackson to sing on his record? Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about that. Well, uh, me and Michael are friends. We go back a long way. And uh, one day, Michael, you know, called me up and said, you know, let's get together. Went up to his house, and, uh, you know, Michael's always interested in what I'm doing. I'm interested in what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So um, I played, you know, he, he asked me, he said, so what are you doing? I said, I'm working on the song. So let me, let me hear it. So I, you know, got it, put it on. He really loved the song. Before, you know, one by one, he called down, you know, as his, his uh, family to uh, hear the song, and he really loved it. So he says, who are you going to get to sing on your song, background or whatever, you know? And I said, well, you know, I'll see. You know, I don't know right now. I'm just, you know, we're cutting the tracks, you know, so and so. And so he volunteered. He goes, I'll do it, you know? <laughs> so the next thing I know, it was uh, in the studio with Mike. You think that's a song that he felt close to, that he related to? Yeah. See, it really, to me, it feels really believable for uh for you to hear michael on the courses I because mean, you know who who else really feels that way i mean right i mean uh michael i it mean sounds it, like the whole world is watching yeah. michael you're jackson right. So. right let's talk about uh your new projects what you got planned what you're up to new albums whatever you're up to well right now we're on our uh, way to europe and uh i'll be there for uh three weeks and uh when we come back we'll be starting on obscene phone caller video which should be the second single Okay. And, uh... You pick some weird topics. I mean, somebody's watching me, I've seen phone call, I mean... Real-life situations, uh -huh. and, uh, when, uh, you know, I just like to uh, write about things that, you know, happen to people and happen to me, so... Uh, I used to be an obscene phone caller myself. <laughs> no, just, just joking. Don't be saying that, though. Believe you. You're a talented young dude. I want to thank you for coming to Hot Tracks, bro. Thank you very much. Um, any parting words or anything? Um... Uh, I don't know anymore! <laughs> oh, sorry. He's great. That was Rockwell. I'm Carlos. This is New York High Tracks. And right now we're going to watch the video to your number one song. Somebody's watching me. Thank you again for coming, okay, Thank babe? You.